Hi, I'm Peter Bennett, and welcome to this course, Building Blocks of Digital Photo Organizing. I'm glad you could join us today, and I'm very excited about giving this course. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long while. I thought you might like to see some of what we will cover in the course. We start off going through a lot of digital imaging basics. Everything from what pixels are, to image resolution, file formats, image compression, and metadata. I think people have had some of the biggest misconceptions in this area and can get really thrown off track. So I've tried to present it in a way that is simple to follow and that will make it easier for everyone to understand these basic principles and tools. Our second lesson goes into systems and workflow. I find it so helpful whenever I'm looking at my own collection or someone else's, to see it as a system that has these different but connected moving parts to it. When you can see the bigger picture, it becomes simpler to navigate the workflow that takes you from capture to backup. And that's what we want to start training ourselves to do. One of the more important lessons is a discussion of how to diagnose an unhealthy photo system and then come up with a plan to make things healthy, organized, and functional, as well as what it means, what is a healthy photo system. We talk about Apple Photos a bit because everyone has that either on their computer or at least on their phone. And when we pull the curtains back on how the Apple Photos ecosystem works and how to access it, it becomes a lot less intimidating. The organizing lesson is the most comprehensive lesson in the course. So if you have diagnosed an unhealthy system and then developed a plan to fix it, then you have to implement the plan, and that's what we discuss in the lesson. From consolidating everything to an organizing drive, retaining your client's work, as well as deduping strategies. There are often many ways to approach these tasks, so we will talk about the mindset you want to go in with and the steps that will help you to be successful. In Lesson 6, I talk a bit about software in regards to catalog options, especially in the different ways catalogs work and handle its image library, and what that means to you when you're interacting with it. I'm even going to compare Lightroom to Bed Bath & Beyond, so you don't want to miss that. Lastly, I talk about communication. And this is important for not only talking with clients, but how to ask for help and be clear and effective in the way that you do. As I say in the course, a question poorly asked will be a question poorly answered. This also relates to our thinking, as the more organized and clear we are with ourselves, the better able we are to perform the tasks that lie ahead. We need to use technology. There's no getting away from having to learn and utilize it in order to effectively work with our photos and family history but our minds need to be our guides. In this class, I want to help you use your mind and your creative abilities to see the whole picture, to be able to see where you want to go before you start. The skill sets I learned as a photographer and photo agency owner gave me the abilities to do what I do as a photo organizer, manager, and archivist. Most importantly, it gave me the confidence that I could face any situation any challenge and find a path to a successful outcome for my clients. And that's what this course is really about. Building confidence, learning the skills and basic building blocks to become a problem solver. Whether you are a photo organizer, an aspiring photo organizer, or a do-it-yourselfer who wants to understand more fully how things work, this course is for you. So I hope you join me for our lesson on Digital Imaging Basics. See you there.